Good evening, and thank you for watching. Tonight I kind of have a little, little rant here. Well, I don't really know how to put this, because I can say it was pretty much sort of kind of my fault. <clears throat> but um, for those of y'all that know me personally, that usually ride in the car with me, well, the one thing y'all are going to notice you know how all I would normally have to do is pull out a keychain that's got a remote pointed at the car and the doors unlock well get used to that not happening anymore at least not till I can get another remote made kind of feel this new feel we need to discuss this so but yeah about maybe a couple weeks or so ago I know it was not too long before Christmas Yeah, not too long before Christmas, um, I was doing a labor-ready job with a bunch of, you know, like 20-plus laborers, and the job was done at the at the PMAC Center, and for those not from Baton Rouge or not familiar with LSU, PMAC is the LSU basketball floor or stadium, whatever. But yeah, we were pretty much cleaning it up, and well, whenever... I, we one of the things we would do when we'd go around and clean up, you know, we'd walk around the whole perimeter, making a circle on a row of bleachers, just picking shit up. Well, there was a time, you know, I, when I was doing it, I remember exactly where I was. It was close to the lower end where the aluminum bleachers start. I had actually bent over to pick some shit up, and when I did, a bunch of shit fell out of my jacket pocket you know just some loose change my telephone little did I know my car keys were among the items that fell and now I thought I picked everything up but I would realized later my keys were gone so you know I'm actually tenaciously going over there to where I think I dropped them and uh, went all the way around to make sure they're not under the I mean they weren't on the bleachers they weren't lodged in the nooks I even grabbed a even grabbed a flashlight and went walked underneath the bleachers they're nowhere it's like they just disappeared yeah that just kinda sums up my luck right there for you but um I mean, even after that, I mean, the guy we were working for, there were two people, two go-to people. One was the guy in charge of the cleanup operation for PMAC, and the other one was a um, was somebody from Labor Ready who is actually someone who works in their corporate office. This guy was from out of Florida, a real dick, too. Well, at least he wasn't until that night, but, um, I mean, I let them know, hey, I dropped my keys somewhere if has anyone turned them in or has anyone seen them and they all did an organized systematic search nothing came up well and you know there was there was one other person who rode in my car with me he left a leather jacket and a scarf in there and he didn't know how to take it whenever I told him you're just gonna have to wait till tomorrow or whatever but what I what I ended up doing was you know later on in the night I pick up my cell phone and you know I call home you know because I know I had a spare key in my room somewhere I mean you know I I went ahead and went ahead and called my mother and I said hey I don't suppose you know where my spare key is do you and I gave her permission to tear up my room and look for it and and normally I don't do let anyone do that but this was called for here's where it kinda got fucked up right here now the guy from labor ready the district manager this is where he became a dick he was like Chuck I know you work better when you're not on your phone actually I work just as good one way or the other but I didn't tell him that <coughs> And then, about a minute later, he 
he comes out and he's like, Charles, this is your last warning. And, that, and that's where I'm thinking, oh, no, uh-uh, you did not just call me that. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put this out there, too. And this pretty much applies to all my videos. And I'm sure y'all have noticed, and this is kind of getting off the subject. I'm sure y'all have noticed that on most of my videos, I introduced myself as Larry Toussaint, and I even cleared it, clarified it that that's a anti-government alias I use. Well, I think I'm just going to go ahead and start using my real name, which is Chuck, by the way. Don't even think about calling me Charles. I don't even let my best friends call me that. But, um, but yeah, I figure I might as well because ever since YouTube and, Go and Google Plus linked together, it's been showing my real name. So, fuck it, whatever. Anyway, back on subject here. He was like, this is your last warning. And that's why I said, I gotta go, this guy's tripping. And as soon as I got off the phone, he's like, you only use your phone if it's an emergency. And I was like, you know I'm having an emergency. And then he, and this is the thing that gets on my nerves about the emergencies things too. Because he had the nerve to pop the classic, somebody has to be, uh, no. First of all, in my book, I don't think anybody has to be dying in order for an unexpected twist of circumstances to qualify as an emergency. But what I should have said was, if I'd have thought about it at the time, I should have said, somebody is dying. And if he asked who, I, then I could say, my will to make it home tonight. But hey, this is the district manager. You don't want to pop off or go too far with them because I need this job. Although I'm looking for bet for a better one, but till then, got to take what I can get. But anyway, needless to say, I did not find my keys that night, and the um the guy that was in charge of the cleanup operation gave me a ride home, where I went to my room, found my spare key, and me and my mother had to go back to LSU to get my car and then come back home and we did not make it home till 2 a.m. but hey as a way of saying thank you we stopped at Circle K and I offered to get her something using my food stamp card guess it's the least I could do for dragging her out there this late at night one one lesson I did learn I ain't ever putting my keys in my in my hoodie or jacket pocket ever again But, um, yeah, I, I know this isn't a very long one. Oh, eight minutes, that's not bad. But, yeah, I just kind of felt like this needed to be discussed. And that's pretty much what I got for now. And once again, thank you for watching. This beast Chuck. Cut.